Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa miyasa ala, koho lo nyimla, yahwa, bahashim, yahwa shai, bahashim, kaha kudash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, ruel, and that by the spirit taught us his beautiful truth. This will save the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachanan Awaf is coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Wanted to just do a quick little lesson on um, this King Charles. Acknowledge his painful slavery past as cause for reparations intensify. So, what's happening in the earth, man, is Esau Edom, the so called white man, he's starting to be revealed. And that, shape, that shameful spew, um, spewing is on his glory, man. Because you just had Joe Biden. Actually, Joe Biden today, he um he done his hookup as far as for the... Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. I was watching it on TV. I actually kind of done a little lesson on it yesterday. Um, Joe Biden, he gives this speech. I think he was in... I'm not sure where that was. Uh... I'm just going to put in Joe Biden apologize to Indians. See what pops up. He was just on TV today earlier giving his little um, apology. See? 150 years of all the bullshit that um, Esau, you know, has done as far as the so-called Native American Indians. And not only them, you know, but all the um, the tribes of Israel, you know, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. So these people have a real brutal history and it's all coming back to roost on the ass man and people are starting to call him out and, and it's more and more yellings from the people about reparations people you know they they like hey look man y'all y'all sitting on all the wealth y'all talking all this shit <laughs> you know about how we're all equal and you love everybody and but but you're sitting on all the wealth and you're not sharing any of the wealth you know you you set us back and, and people are just looking at these people like okay y'all the fucking wicked that the bible speaks of and, and and that's what that's how we know we're in the end days. We're gonna get that scripture because Second Thessalonians. Matter of fact, let's just get it now. We can get it right now. Damn, if I'm gonna be moving slow as shit. I am a little far away from the internet, thank you. But this is um Second Thessalonians two and three. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that man of sin, the son of perdition, is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, which is the progenitor of the so-called white race. They're not white. We say they're so-called because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. <laughs> Scripture describes Esau as being red. This man is not, not white. He doesn't look like a glass of milk. You know, he get to using those pseudoscience words, you know, like he's white, like he's so goddamn pure. He's just pure as cotton. You know, he's pure as a cloud. You know, pure as snow. You know, he's just so righteous. When he's he's been, you know, going throughout the earth doing all this goddamn wickedness, man. And he's starting to be revealed in these last days. So let's go into the let's, let's play his, his little video. Matter of fact, we can get some of Joe Biden bullshit too. Here you go. This guy supposedly see now. He's unfit to run, you know, for office again. They pretty much slipped Kamala in, you know, without even being nominated. <laughs> you know, but he's got the, 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 you know, the conscience or the mental facility <laughs> to go and give an apology for 150 years of you bullshitting the so-called Native American Indians around, man. Anyway, it, we already know, and there's nothing going to come of it. Empty words, man. Nobody want to hear your empty ass words, man. But anyway, we're going to, let, let's play this one. Let's see what he has to say. I understand from listening to people across the Commonwealth how the most painful aspects of our past continue to resonate. It is vital, therefore, that we understand our history to guide us to make the right choices in the future. Where inequalities exist, for example, in access to opportunity, to education, to skills training, uh, to employment, to health, and to a planet in whose climate our human race can both survive and thrive, we must find the right ways and the right language to address them. At a time of heightened global tensions, of horrifying conflict, 
and challenges of the greatest magnitude. It seems to me that uh, these connections between us are more precious than ever. Together we are wiser, stronger, and more able to respond to the demands of our time. Okay, and there you have it. And then when you go into the comment boards, you already know the, the Mr. Agent. President Keir Simmons from NBC like News. Uh, Mr. President. Like you. So when you when you go into the comments, the super races are in there. And, and and you can really see these people have a perpetual hatred for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now, some of those people that was on stage behind him, you know, could have been Israelites, but overall I think those were like, you know, some of those other nations, you know what I'm saying, that, that kind of caught a little wind of, you know, the disrespect from um these particular from these so-called white people. But overall, the the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, caught the grunt of of the worst slavery or the the worst treatment in the world, man, by these people, man. So the Lord is starting to reveal them, and that's that's exactly what's happening. Now, so now here you go. This guy, I didn't even get the, you know, I had it on in the backdrop of my TV, but I had the TV on mute because I was doing a lesson while this was happening. Actually, at the end of one of those lessons, I kind of, I kind of gave a clip of it when they had the um, so-called Native American Indians in the backdrop cheering for this clown, man. You see? Look at this, look at this shit. Let, let's see. Let's get this one. Let's see right here. All told. Hundreds and hundreds of federal Indian boarding schools across the country. Tens of thousands of Native children enter the system. Nearly 1,000 documented Native child deaths, though the real number is likely to be much, much higher. Lost generations, culture, and language. Lost trust. It's horribly, horribly wrong. It's a sin on our soul. I'd like to ask... With your permission, for a moment of silence, because you remember those lost and the generations living with that trauma. Formerly a These people are, are a fucking joke, bro. But guess what? They're, they're starting to tell on each other. Hey, these scriptures, man, is real, bro. This is how you know we're, we're in it. Matter of fact, let me go back to that, Salakia. Let's get verse 3 again. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. What day? That's what I wanted to point out. Salaki, I didn't at first. That day shall not come. What day is this talking about? The coming of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And they push white Jesus on us, man. They push white Jesus on us cold as shit, man. Like for real, a lot of our people are going to be destroyed because they're going to go out of this world when the Lord comes. Thinking that some so-called white man that actually enslaved them and done all this shit to him is going to come back and save them. Because that's an idol. That's idol worship. White Jesus is idol worship. You need to get rid of anything in your house that's got to do with white Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need to get rid of all your figurines, all those bullshit um, 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 uh, uh, necklaces with crosses on them, them damn beads. All those silly ass pictures you got hanging up all over the wall with the white praying he, um, 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 Jesus, he, um, um, the Jesus praying hands and shit, man. Throw all that shit in the trash, bro. Get rid of all that shit out of your house. The true name of the father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. That word Jesus, the, hey, that's not even a translation of the Lord's name. That's a transliteration of some bullshit. Nowhere in the Bible, there was no letter J even when the Lord walked the earth. There was no English when the Lord walked the earth. Don't let nobody tell you that it doesn't matter what his name is. Because it does. Because this man done pushed white Jesus throughout the whole entire planet. And guess what? They raped, robbed, and pillaged everywhere that they've been and gone to. And the name of that, 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 that idolatrous God of theirs and that image. And once they conquered you, they, 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 they overcame you and beat that image into you. They gave you that name. They want you to, to believe and think that they are your gods. You know, the average so-called black person look at the so-called white man, you know, as if he's something to be worshipped, man. And that all comes from that idolatrous white Jesus image. 
But that day it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. That's how you know we're at the end, right? Except there come a falling away first. That was us falling away from our, our culture, you know, when these so-called white people conquered us, you know. And, and it goes um, off into the um, prophecies as well, where we were um, disobedient to the Lord, you know, and, and, and the Lord sent these people against us, man. But they're going to have to pay for what they've done. Right? It says, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So the man of sin, the son of perdition, is being revealed right now. Because the law, statutes, and commandments wasn't given to them. They, they should have never put their hands on the Bible. They should have never got that Bible, man. They, 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 they'd have been better off just being a wicked. But, I mean, it was a part of, of the Lord's plan. That they would use his words as if they were the righteous. And fool the world. That's what that's what a, um, a damn devil does. He's a deceiver. So he has fooled the world into believing that he's a god, that he's God. Matter of fact, verse four it says, "Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God." Who gave you white a white God? Who gave you a white Jesus, man? They did. They ran throughout the earth and, and with, with that image and, and bullshitted everybody. Straight up. So now they're being revealed. What does it say again? For that day shall not come. The day of the Lord can't come until that man be revealed. Now he's being revealed. You have world leaders standing up on, on world stages in front of national cameras where everybody internationally can see you confessing to your to, to your bullshit. And we already know you're slippery as hell. They're just really doing it to, um, you know, kind of, you know, kick the can down the road a little bit. They don't want anything to do with no reparations. You think these people about to give you back what the fuck they took? That will put them in slavery. But guess what? The Lord is going to come through with the, uh, the real reparations. The Lord is going to be the one that's going to um, handle these people, man. Let's get that uh, Psalm 64. In verse 8, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So they're just telling me on, on themselves. And they don't have no choice because the Lord has placed a spirit on them to do so. They don't have no choice. That internet kicking their ass. Them TikTok videos is kicking their ass. Everybody in the earth are actually tired of so-called white people. Even a hey, so-called white people tired of so-called white people. Because cause, cause they're not getting a cut of, of any of the, the riches that they've actually stole. You only have a few families. It's crazy. You may have 100 people and, 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 and probably far less than that. I'm just giving it some, some range. <laughs> but you have 100 people possibly that's over the entire globe of billions of people with all the resources, all the money. Don't care about nobody but themselves. Living it the fuck up. Destroying your society. Destroying your air. Destroying your water. Destroying the land. Destroying the animals. Destroying everything. All so they can live in one pristine place. Because they're not going through what you're going through. Your motherfuckers are somewhere living, um, living it up. Breathing fresh air. They got some fresh air somewhere. They, 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 they definitely... Or not drinking um this bullshit bottle of water y'all drinking. Or you know they ain't drinking no tap. They probably you know they they man, pfft. motherfucker want a steak. They probably killing a cow right on the spot. Ain't no damn steaks just in the freezer. I highly doubt that. Motherfucker want some grapes. They probably got some 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 pretty ass foot model. Uh, 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 stepping on them in a goddamn tub to get them the freshest uh, 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 wine in the world, freshest cognac, freshest of you know everything, everything that they the clothing that they wear made from scratch. You know, fucking going to no damn uh, Saks Fifth Ave or no you know Gucci store or no Louis store. They ain't going nowhere like that, man. They got motherfuckers that's at their house measuring their asses out. <laughs> got the best of everything, man. But let's get this again. Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. 
All that see them shall flee away. Right? So they, they're telling on each other, man. They're telling on themselves. So we know that it's not going to be long before the Lord comes. Because they're already talking about on um, World War III. World War III is already popping pretty much. That's one of the last major prophecies in the world. So if, if, if all you're hearing is wars and rumors of wars, you know the other prophecy got to be um, on, on deck. The MOTB, the Market of Beauty and the Beast. The CBDC. You just had um, the BRICS get together. One of the very first things that this guy over there in Russia said was, hey, we got to come from under that dollar. So ain't no telling how they're going to they gonna run down um, giving your ass that implant. Because they, they're going to they're gonna come with that chip soon. It's got to be soon. You know? We don't know as to how soon, but it's nothing for them to do a quick blackout, break shit down. Have people out here, you know, um, um, huffing and puffing about how we're going to eat. You know, have your ass in the dark for about a month. We had a blackout. We got hacked by some country or something. The bank accounts don't went. You can't go to all that shit. When, when they turn the, when they flip the lights back on, ain't going to be shit for you. You ain't going to have nothing that you used to have. More than likely. I'm just me speaking as a man on that end. <laughs> for real. And as soon as they turn that shit back on up, oh, well, we got to do something. We, we, we have a new system. We're going to have to, uh, implant everybody their information we're gonna put everything uh, hey, this man uh, the lost his goddamn mind man he needs to go let's get that uh oh habakkuk 2 and 16 thou art filled with shame for glory drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered the cup of the lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory and that's what's going on with these people. They used to they used to actually be proud of their history. Now they don't want nothing to do with that shit. This new generation of so-called white people, they for damn sure don't want nothing to do with their history. Oh, I had nothing to do with that. I wasn't there. I'm not a slave owner. I didn't own slaves. But guess what, man? That they you're still gonna have to pay for what um you know your ancestors done. It's not going to just be a few people. You know, you're, you're going to deal with that shit as an entire nation. Just like we had to deal as an entire nation. We went into slavery as a nation. So, matter of fact, let's get that. Um, niggas, Esau really, man, these, these people, man, they really think they're about to get away with this shit. Oh, we're just going to issue out a few apologies and we're just going to keep things going. Cause you are, it's a few countries over there, or you know, um, as far as the Commonwealth, a lot of those, you know, those those, those islands, you know, done got away from um, the Commonwealth, man. They like, man, fuck y'all. We don't want nothing to do with the Queen no more. We don't want nothing to do with your um, your your rulership no more, you know. But now give us our, give us reparations, so we can move on. Revelations thirteen and nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See, and this is going off into a nation of people. Esau, man, you led our people into captivity. You don't want to give up no reparations. You And you can't make it right. It don't make no difference what you give up. All that blood you shed, you're not going to, how, how you going to pay for that? There's no price on, 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 on the blood that you shed, man. That would be different if you, okay, I'm still alive and you, you robbed me. No, you know, now I can get my money back and some, you know, for what you put me through. No, no, you actually took billions of lives down there, man. Ain't no telling how many um, um, people, you know, actually got deleted, man, with these people, um, you know, coming in with their white Jesus and, 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 and charging in and forcing people into slavery and all that shit, man. Only the only the Lord knows those true numbers. And I, I believe that, you know, when shit goes down and we're situated in the kingdom, we're going to have those actual numbers of what you've done with actual um, video of what you've done. Because the Lord, he records all things. Don't think that the Lord don't have no um no, no recording or no recollection, rec, recollection of, of the things that y'all have done. The Lord knows. You know, the Lord, the scripture talks about how the Lord knows that uh, every uh, the number of every hair on you on your body, man, roughly paraphrasing. So he knows everything that you've actually done. 
I think that's uh all that oh I had nothing to do with it and you know I, you know slavery was in the past that's what I'm saying when you read through the comments you know you just get aggravated as hell because these and not only do they be talking shit I can see they may think okay well I had nothing to do with it I can understand that they may not understand what you know reincarnation is or regeneration is that they actually lived in a time period before this time period i get that but that extra shit that they be saying that extra talk that they be talking that's what i don't you know that you know that that fuck you um talk yeah we done it to you so what that prideful talk see and the lord gonna get down soon man Um, let me see here. I want to get. I always forget where that scripture is at. Oh, it's 315. I was right there. I was right. Okay. Um, Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which has been is now. And that which is to be. Have already been. And Yahweh required that which is past. So the Lord is requiring. He's going to require that past. You're not going to get away with what you've done. See that. that those. Those. That shit was like, man, about an hour ago to the Lord. Because the scriptures talks about how a day, a thousand years is like a day to the Lord. This little ruler, these little rulerships that you had, that shit is only seconds, man. Not even, you know, you can't even say really seconds to the Lord. Because the Lord doesn't live by time, like how he, he you know, he gave us to live by. He knows exactly what you people done. You're not going to get away with it. Let me get this Isaiah 14 and 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. You're not going to be able to build no, no more of your whack-ass cities, man. No more of your damn um, coliseums, your stadiums, your Roman coliseums, you know, or bread and circuses and shit. We're not going to see your NBA games or your NFL games or your WNBA games, your goddamn tennis, all that, all that bullshit, that golf or none of that shit is going to, um, 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 you're never going to be able to own nothing like that in our kingdom, bro. All that shit is going to burn up and, and be shut down as soon as we come into rulership. All that you, you, you being able to hold on to all the gold, you being able to hold on to all the sapphires, you being able to hold on to all the onyx and any other mineral, you know. Sucking all the damn oil out of the ocean. Flying your fucking airplanes all over the place. Concrete and every damn thing. No, you're not going to be able to do none of that shit, man, in our kingdom, bro. You're not building no more of them, them your, your stupid-ass skyscrapers, man. You're not going to be able to do any of that no more. You're not going to be able to, uh, 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 you know, uh, build no fucking nuclear power plants all over the damn place. Be able to test nuclear weapons all in the ocean. Testing nuclear weapons all out in, you know, in space. Y'all, 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 you motherfuckers got to go, man. You're not going to be able to do none of that in the kingdom. You've destroyed the earth. As a matter of fact, the Lord said that he's going to destroy those that destroy the earth, man. What is that? Uh, I'm trying to think. So, Lockie, where is that? Uh, let me see where that at. Yeah, the Lord is going to destroy your ass. For, for, for destroying the earth. Out here running around like you, the, the, the righteous. Oh, that is not it. Oh, whoop. Yep, it was. Revelation 11 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, which we're hoping that we're, we're part of the hopefully elect, man, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Who is in control of the earth? That Job 9 and 24, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All we have to do is ask ourselves, well, who's running the earth? That's not hard to figure out. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where, who is he? 
Who's running the earth? It's not hard to tell who who's running the earth. This the same man that had the whole goddamn planet shut down for a, a, a couple of, for a year and some change. You know what I'm saying with that COV19. Got had everybody out here wearing diapers on their fucking face, man. Had everybody out here, you know, um, 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 you know, lying to the people about rolling up their sleeves and shit. Telling you where you can travel and where you couldn't travel. Remember all that? That lets you know that right there in itself should let you know who's running the earth. He's the one that's coming up with where you can fly, where you can drive. You need his driver's license. You need his passport. You need his um his his state IDs. You need um um damn tabs, plates, insurance in your car. He's taxing you on this. He's taxing you on that. You don't pay your taxes on your home, even though you paid it off. He's going to take that bitch from you. Who, 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 who's doing all that? Who's in control of your FDA, your CIA, your FBI, your, you know, and that's just here in the Americas. These people are ruling all over the planet. Your NATO countries, your EU countries. So we, we, we can clearly tell who the wicked is. So the, we know that you are the destroyer of the earth. It's you, so-called white man. And, and he's being revealed in these last days. And that's why we know that we're close to the coming of the Lord. That's why it's so important that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are Israelites. You need to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, before his coming, man. Because the Lord is coming to, to destroy these people. He's coming to get them out of power. They will never build another city again, man. All these goddamn Flintstone cities, man. These, these, you know. All this goddamn concrete. Your damn knees and hips. You need a damn hip. Yeah, you need a damn hip replacement, knee replacements, and shit like that. I'm um, walking on this man's um earth, man. With his with his ass and in, in power. Everybody on some type of drug. Damn food all contaminated, your water all contaminated, your 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 air is is contaminated. This this dude gotta go, man. And here you go. They sitting on every goddamn thing and then wanna get to talking about an apology. And our people just take that shit and suck it up like oh they apologize. In the meanwhile, he's still being wicked to your ass in the backdrop. Makes no sense, bro. But this shit right here. It, this is a beautiful thing because I didn't know that he I didn't even know about this one. I knew about the one from Joe Biden because they had, um, you know, had already been announcing that he was going to do this apology. And I was watching it on. Um, I think Fox Live or whatever, it was about 70,000 people watching that shit, you know. But. Yet then, hey, th this man is about to be destroyed, man. The Lord is about to get all these kingdoms. Hey, all those BRICS nations. All those, you know, all these countries. I think what is about 200 countries, you know, to, you know, so to speak in the world with all these different world leaders that meet up at these U.N. meetings. But you never see a Negro there. Because we don't have no representative. Our representative is Yahweh Shai. So when he comes, we're going to be on top and making the rules. They're not going to be on top of us no more making our, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, got us getting up at whatever time in the morning, punching in for the asses. Damn near killing yourself trying to rush your children to these, these clown schools and shit. No. Gonna be no fucking McDonald's in our kingdom. Gonna be no damn Wendy's, no Burger King. Ain't gonna be no 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 E. coli outbreak from McDonald's in our damn kingdom, bro. You're not gonna be you're not gonna have nothing like that. Can't wait to, bro. So that's pretty much it there, man. I think the point is made. Hey, these people are not going to pay you nothing. You're not going to get no reparations. And even if they did give out some money, because all they ever offered, all I've ever heard them offer you was a damn education. I would give you a free college education. Nobody want to go to your fucking colleges, man, and learn them damn lies that you've been teaching all along. No, just give me a cut. Go ahead and give me my money. And I'll just go and get me, you know, a little fucking trade and, and build me a company from there. Get to going to your school and learning your bullshit curriculum to get out here and not get a goddamn job anyway. Your ass will be, you being spent all your damn, you know. Them motherfuckers in student debt loans. Come on, bro. And then America's 30, they saying 35 trillion in debt, which we already know. That shit probably 300, 400 trillion 
<laughs> you know, ain't no telling how what kind of debt these people are in. But us being subjects to payment in this place as far as taxes, that's slavery in itself. So it's not like they're, they're apologizing to you while still having you in slavery. So what's the what's the what's the use? Shit don't make no 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 sense, man. Anyway, though, pray that the lesson was um edifying with that. Kwame Ashala and a Bible ball, man. Hey, continue on praying for the downfall of this place. This is this this is just, you know, just one reason as to why this place gotta fall. So with that, Shalom.